Once you've installed Mercurial, the next step that you really need to do is to restart the computer. I know none of us want to restart the computer once we've installed new software, but in this particular case, it doesn't really work well and you don't get the extra little icon showing up on screen if you don't reboot first. Go ahead, reboot the computer, and then once you've rebooted the computer, the next thing that we're going to do is to copy a repository that already exists. And in Mercurial speak, we're going to call that cloning a repository. Cloning, just a fancy word for copy. I'm going to right click somewhere here on the desktop, so I'm going to put my cloned repository on the desktop, and underneath Tortoise HG, I'm going to select the option for clone. Again, just a word for copy. And it comes up with a very simple dialog box that says where I want to copy it from, the source, and where I want to copy it to, the desktop. Well, in this case, I need to figure out where I want to copy it from. And if you sign up for one of our classes here, there's already a repository created for you. So in this case, I'm going to go to the Program Arcade Games class. Underneath the Progress button, you can log in. Once you've logged in, you should see a code repository URL. Let's go ahead and copy this. So I right clicked on it and did copy link address. Now I'm going to minimize this. And I'm going to right click in the source box and do paste. Now at this point in time, it is ready to do the clone. I'm going to clone it from this web address and I'm going to paste it or clone it to this destination which is my desktop. Hit the clone button and then it's going to ask me for my username and password. After it's done that it'll run and once it's finished the dialog box goes away and you can see right over here I've got my destination folder along with a little green checkbox. If you don't have the green checkbox, it probably means you didn't reboot. On occasion, I have seen the dialog box state that it's finished, but it doesn't go away, and you're left with a cancel button that doesn't do anything. And what you need to do in that case is hit the red X in the upper right-hand corner, the box goes away, and you're good to go. But again, if you don't see this little red checkbox right here, then it means that you've got an issue, probably need to reboot, and then the checkbox will appear. If you have rebooted since you've installed, then a lot of times all you have to do is hit the F5 key on your keyboard and it'll refresh and show the little green checkbox. All the subdirectories for this, in this case I can see I've got a CMSC 150 subdirectory. I'm showing hidden files so the .hg file shows up. This is what it uses to hold all the database files in. You can just leave that alone. I see I've got some labs set up here. All these are green checkboxes. The green checkboxes means that it hasn't been modified yet, and it's the same thing as what's in the repository. Congratulations, we have now cloned our first repository. If you want to create a repository, you can right click on this and do create repository. You don't have to clone a repository. I would recommend always creating a repository in a blank directory. The other thing is, with this web address, you can actually browse it with your web browser. If I click on this, it'll again ask me for my username and password. And once I've logged in, I can see this is everything that's happened for my particular repository 26 hours ago, 27 hours ago, who did it, and the description of what I did. I can also browse, which is kind of hidden right here, but if you browse this, you can take a look at your files, just as if you're on the computer, and see everything that's happened with those particular files and take a look at them. All right, so you have copied your repository and you can actually take a look at what's in the repository online without even having to clone it.